versus Jen, heading right into it. So we've got the run back going on. FD. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like with Nick's playstyle, this may actually benefit him more. Because he's probably going to chase off stage. Not off stage, up in the air all the time. Yo, is this. Uh, do we have, no, is this Metal Crystal? I can't remember. Uh, yes, this is what the Metal Battle. Yeah. No, no, again. no, this is Metal Crystal, I think. Metal Battle is something different. But this is the song that plays when you fight against Metal Mario in uh, Super Smash Bros. 64. Oh, okay. I think the song is called Metal Crystal, but I'm not sure. Yes. Anywho, Jen versus Nick C. We have the percents up on deck. 84 to 72. Again, it's the first stock, so they're just trying to feel each other out. They did play earlier in winners. Nick uh, C did come out on top. So once more, this is the second set they're playing today. The winner of this is going to move on to face off against Wishes in Grand Finals, the New Jersey Invader. Shut up. <laughs> could you imagine? I, I almost could, you know? It's a little out there, though. That's a little too much crazy to go for. All right, that was a really good cross up yeah. with the down arrow. Nick's really good at getting those cross ups with the down, down arrows. Jen, very aware of what's going on. Doesn't want to commit to the button because that's what Nixie's banking on. Good tech. Trying to catch out that Falcon dive. Gets the up air. Still living great. Fantastic DI coming out from Nixie. Oh, clips the jab. Smacks him with the shield. My man looking like Captain America. Mm -hmm. All right. Back up safe. Goes for the knee to frame. That's and, how you know he's not and messing Nick's around. And Nick's been doing that a lot recently. If you watched him at Smash at Paramount, he was constantly going for nares on the ledge like that. Yes. Thing is, is that how even did that at, at a lower percent. How did that kill? How did that connect? How did any of that work? <laughs> Nick's just kind of makes stuff work, honestly. That back air should not have landed, but here we go. Nick C making it land. Caught him off stage, sent Jen so far without a double jump, he wasn't able to get back to the stage with warp. All right. So here we go, down Nair throw. train. All right, tries to go for the follow-up on that one. So that is, you have to eat those nares in the up air, I think, but afterwards you basically put in a mix-up scenario. Yeah. It's not as bad as it was in Smash 4 because you can air dodge multiple directions, but it's still scary. Not going to kill you off of that stuff. So look at these up air Ooh. chains. He did Good get the chase. punish, and that's what everyone yes. that complains about Palutena, what is the number one thing they complain about? Uh, Nair. Nair. And look what happened. Nixie baited it out, got a punish on it because he went for Nair, and got a kill off of it. Yes. All because Jen hit Nair. Palutena Nair is punishable. Please yes. punish it for the love of God. Now, punishable on whip or punishable on shield? Both. Both. If you have a quick enough answer out of shield, depending on the character. Yes. All right. Nice. Beefy up to get past there. Chases him off stage. Honestly, uh, ooh. Okay, a little awkward on that one. Gets him with the rising up air. Okay, we're chilling. Big yeah. chilling. 139%. Nixie looking for this opening. Waits for him to. Right there, I think Jim was trying to go for a parry. Yeah. Oh, that's timed it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of lag after laying down on the ground with an up B gives Jen the absolute freest grab. Yep. And now the Nair damage train. is going to start to rack. Nair no, he dropped. Did he just drop the Nair train? I think he dropped it because of the rage. He I, may have. Yeah. And he may there have. There might have been some misinputs right. as well. Maybe he didn't push as forward as he thought he was, was going to have to. But regardless, Jen's going to cap or Nixie's going to capitalize with this. Yep. Try to take away that momentum. He has stage control. And uh, guess. He has a game control as well. Game one goes to Nick. Yeah, honestly, he's at an emotional advantage, honestly. Yes. Honestly. Like if I'm honestly speaking. Honestly? 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 Emotional advantage goes to Nick C. Because right there, Jen, Emotionally speaking, I feel your honesty. Yeah. Jen was not, Jen was 100% at emotional disadvantage. The fact that he tried to go for the air dodge into the ledge, a little bit too far away, ended up falling to his death. This is going to secure Nick C with that uh, game one win, which is incredibly important because now he has counter pick advantage in terms of stages. Mm -hmm. So Winning on game one is super important. Yes. And we're also going to see the counter pick onto uh, Yoshi's, which I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the combos off the platform are very nice. Palutena being able to shark like that. The My God. Did game one happen? What was that about an emotional disadvantage? I would be shook. I would be tilted after that. He di That was a zero to death in like 10 seconds. And he was gone. Now it's an uphill battle for Nick for the rest of the game. Unless he brings this back right now, but all right. That stock was deleted, deleted. Bro. My, I, I need to see that instant replay at least ten look, times after look, this game. Look, Jen, Jen, 
was feeling a little shook, and he said, wait a second, Captain Falcon hasn't been in a video game in 10 years. Palutena's been in a video game like five years ago. I'm good. And then he got the zero. My god. <laughs> You're going to be able to catch him out before the warp it gets activated, and she is vulnerable right before it goes off. And Nick gonna double jump to avoid any sort of follow-ups from Jen. Nick makes those double jump looks like they're invincible or something. I swear he gets away with them so much, but it's a very smart option. Again, uh, Captain Falcon tucks himself in very close for that, and uh, he's got good movement and speed. His Nick was a little good. greedy with that forward smash. He was hoping for a spot dodge from Jen, but wasn't able to get the call out. They were giving the back game. He was looking for held down to be able to get that command grab off stage. Yes, notice how he did the delay there. He fell down purposefully, then did the wall jump so he could mix up his timing. He didn't want to make it a free down air. Falcon kick was a little aggressive on that one, but probably looking for an aggressive option from Jen. Um, there we go. Right, Calls up the go. spot dodge finally. Gets the back air. That's going to be the first stock going towards Nick C. Yep, he's on the board. Jen's on a tear. Hold on a sec. Yep. Yeah, I see on a tear because it's it's the uh, the Yoshi's Island stage where everything's made of paper. I got you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Looking a little dire. Doesn't get a tech on that one, so he punishes with a bear. That actually could have been. Uh, I think that would have still been Jen's turn after that up B. But I'm not sure. That was a smart dash attack from Jen, yep. recognizing that Jen or Nixie wanted to get that combo started with. Uh, That's okay. it. Good night. Wow. My alarm actually just went off. That's my Oh my god. That's it's... my that's my alarm to let me know that when I'm home, I have to tell my girlfriend something. Oh. And cuz I assumed I was going to be home by now. Yes, it is 12:30. It is late at night. Um You know, and look, real talk. Real you, talk. Ha you have to wonder about playing all these matches, especially when you get later on in the night back to back because Mental strength matters a lot in this game. If you get shook about something, that can easily be the difference between the game. Imagine going back to back against all these killers trying to make your way to the top to make yourself in grants in loser. At least it's not Wednesday night fights that ended at 6 a.m. Eastern. Anyways, oh, Kalos Pokemon League. <laughs> yep. That turn was still going on when I woke up for work. Jeez. Okay. I will say, though, um, as far as counterpick goes, I think this is pretty good. Captain Falcon does benefit from the platforms for his combo game, and he benefits from the wall jump. This is kind of looking like game two over here. I wanted Nick C to go time. for an up B so badly <laughs> off stage. I wanted, I wanted that more than the world. Oh. Oh. Have you okay, ever wanted something up. so bad that it hurt? Yes. Absolutely. There we go. I wanted the down smash. OK. Good fade away on that one. Back air wasn't punishable on that one. Came and went, and then waited for the uh, punish on lift. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. And Good dash attack. Cat Yo, that still clipped. Tickled oh. his toes <laughs> with that up air. Oh my now God. the damage is going to keep on climbing. Nair after Nair. 36 Alrighty. Mm -hmm. See, that is one other thing, is that that platform can be um, it's more player preference, right? You can either tech and go for a tech chase with Palutena on that platform after an air train, or you can go to a stage that doesn't have them and be in the air and have to eat the mix up. So it's really player choice. And I wonder if Nixie prefers having the platform there. Right. lands threatening himself off stage. Yo, gets him off. This is actually still looking pretty good. This could go either way. All right. Ooh. Yo, no punish on the get up attack. Jen was looking a little too hard for the Nairs. Doesn't get the punish off of that either. Yo. All right. That is definitely going to be punished. We've seen Nick go for that a couple times, and it seems like oftentimes he wants to cross it up. Yo, that was the good bait. I love Nair that one dog. Such a good oh bait. my god, I cannot believe he got that. Let's go. All right. Now Jen coming in clutch. Wants the back air. Fantastic parry coming out from Nick C. Yo, went for it. There. Yo, he got the grab. He wasn't afraid of that. There? Falcon running? This is a blood. Yo, what was that My angle? What was that? They're just smacking each other. Did he? Did, was he air dodge? Did he air dodge out of that? Yes. And the, okay, that's what that was. It was just a particle effect. I thought the angle of that had sent him out. That was sick. Yep. Can no, you get a double jump away? This is really hard to land at this point. All right. One sixty-five percent on Nick C. Right. Jen looking Resetting to close the ledge. Yep. Yep. That's it. There he goes. Gets the back air. Can't jump up for free. Okay, now Nick C looking for this opening, finds it, has him off stage, 95%. You Yo, saw him prepare this. You saw him prepare the side beam. Mm -hmm. All right, Nair train. Yep, that's gonna be a full connect. Yo actually goes for the uh, up air follow up. Maybe thought that the rage was too much on that one. Also, Captain Falcon is uh, pretty heavy falls pretty fast, so that probably factors into it a lot for the Nair. Yes, he is indeed a fast faller, man. You can get easy combos off that. Some characters thrive off that. 
Yes. 140% Palutena looking for that up B conversion. Yep, double jumps to get himself out of that situation. Does not want to eat that pressure on his shield. Crosses him up with a back air, and we have ourselves a final stock game. Who's going to be moving on to Grands to face off against Wishes one more time? Because yes. remember, Wishes sent both these players to losers. Yes. And uh, honestly, I think both of them could do a good job in the run back. But I think more importantly, the way you phrased it before, these two are fighting for representation of New York City right now. We're going to see who has the guts, who has the plays to bring it back and try to bring it home in grand finals. All right. Here we go. Jen's trying to turn up the heat. Already has him at 87. I like that jump out of shield going for the Nair. Really safe option for Paolo to do. Yep, big double jumping to get out of the situation. Trying to chase uh, a quick response back. Jen not biting, though. He's still playing this patient. And Nick likes to dash dance back and forth from a pretty far distance away because he is the second fastest character in the game, so he can easily just close that distance and catch his opponent completely off guard. So he's almost trying to bait out like a long-range projectile, but Jen is not no, going to give. He knows exactly what is going on. Going for the back throw, nice. forces out the air dodge. Good Yo. wall jump to be able to try to turn himself around to connect that back air. Yo, that was a good jab. That, that absolutely would have been had, That jab was imperative that he landed that. Yes. Live to fight another day. Falcon, Yo, Falcon kicks kick him in the Yo, middle of the needs stage. To. He, was, he, he was about to get uh, anti-aired. Is and that it? Jumps back onto the yes, stage. Did yeah, he next. air dodge? Did he air dodge there? It looked like he had a frame or two where he did. Rewatch the tapes. Hold on. Nah, he just... Uh, no. Yeah, he did. What? Yeah, he air dodged. That but it didn't matter. He was dead. No, see, the thing is, is that if he air dodged towards the stage, when you air dodge, it pulls you in the opposite direction it for the does, first couple frames. But the thing is, if he yes. didn't air dodge, he was going to die anyways. That's like, true. In my opinion. Like, he was, he, that, that was a kill throw. Yes. So you got yes. your boy, Jen, defeating Nick C, got the revenge against him. So they're 1-1 one, one now in this tournament. However, he won the l most recent set, so he gets, the, he gets to be the one. Mm -hmm. Moves on into grand finals to face off against Wish. Will Jen be able to def defend New York City?